Hello everybody and welcome back to Yalan app. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to create a logo for your YouTube channel in Canva. So if this is something that you want to be able to do, well then this video is going to be perfect for you. So what we're going to do firstly is to just go into Canva. And as you can see, I'm currently on Canva right here. So you can just click on any design. It doesn't really matter because then it should take you to this page. Now click on these three lines right here, as you can see. And now we're going to click on create a design as you can see and then it should take us to this page which is perfect so now i'm actually just going to select logo and it should actually now take us to this page right here so as you can see this is actually templates and if you don't actually get templates in here if you get styles for example just choose this one right here this is a very very good uh, first thing to actually start with when you're going to create a logo is to actually have templates because Canva has amazing templates that you can actually take inspiration from to be able to create the logo for your YouTube channel. So the first thing you're going to actually define is what is your YouTube channel about? Is it for example gaming or is it about your dog or your cat for example? What is your YouTube channel going to be about? Because that is going to also reflect in the logo, of course. But you can always scroll down in here and check if there's any design that you feel like is the best for you. And by the way, you might see this one where it says Pro, right? This premium template is included with... Yeah, I have a Canva Pro plan, so I'm actually able to use these Pro templates right here. But if you don't actually pay for Canva subscription, you will not be able to use those ones, just so you know. So I'm not going to use those premium ones in this tutorial because I think that most of you watching this video is not actually paying for Canva subscription. But there's still a lot of things that we can actually choose. So in here we can also search for a logo as you can see. So for example, we can actually uh, search like this. We can search for gaming. And now we're going to actually get a lot of gaming designs right here as you can see. So if you're for example, right now you're having like a gaming uh, channel for YouTube and you want to be able to create a gaming logo for your YouTube channel, this is a great uh, way to start. Just search for gaming or whatever keyword that actually is reflecting on what you're doing on YouTube. It can be makeup, obviously, of course. We can, for example, try that one as well. Makeup, and as you can see, you will get makeup inspiration. You will get basically any kind of inspiration in here. It is really, really good to be able to actually know that you can just search for templates and here in Canva will give you great suggestions. But I'm just going to actually stick with gaming for this tutorial. So I'm just going to take gaming. Now I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to find a logo that we can actually use for our gaming channel that is obviously also not premium. So we can actually use it or you can also use it obviously if you would want to. So let's actually see if we can find this one actually looks pretty cool. So let's take this one right here. I'm going to see if I can actually, yeah, perfect. As you can see, I'm now able to actually get it right here as my full screen. This one looks pretty decent, I would say. So let's say that we want to be able to actually work with this specific logo right here. So as you can see, it has already given us the design in even the background. I'm just going to actually remove the background and I'm going to remove this one right here just to make it even more clean. So as you can see, this is going to be my design. And I can click on the design itself and I can also, as you can see, switch the color. So for example, if I want this to be red, for example, or yeah, it didn't look so good at all. But yeah, purple or whatever kind of color, we can always, of course, play around with it. And by the way, if you have made a mistake, let's say that I have uh, chosen this one red. And then I went back to this page and I want to quickly actually fix this mistake. You can always click on this one undo button right here. And it's going to go back to the previous version right here, as you can see. And let's say that I would like to actually uh, have another text in here, not this text. So I'm just going to remove this one, remove this one, and I'm going to click on text. And instead, I'm going to actually ch choose the one that I think fits better. So we can also search for fonts or combination. Maybe you can search for gaming in here. And it's going to actually give us like gaming related uh, fonts or that actually can sometimes like fit into gaming style, basically. So let's take this one right here. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to remove this up right here. Just have this one. So I'm just going to name my logo test gaming or actually let's bring back the purple one right here. Let's bring it back and make it like this, but make it like a lot smaller, obviously. 
So for example, like this, right? Test gaming. And I want to obviously pro probably reflect uh, these colors on actually my logo. So I'm going to click right here. Let's see if I can actually reflect some of these colors a little bit more. I'm going to take this one. Actually, it doesn't really fit to be honest. And I'm going to go back to this. I think this one is still good enough to be honest. It kind of still reflects the text and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. So test gaming as you can see. And now if you want to, you can obviously make, make this one a little bit bigger if you want to, of course. And um, I would actually suggest to you, by the way, to not make it bigger because um, for some reason, when you're going to like add a logo to your YouTube channel, you will be able to actually, it's going to be a like this right here, this the entire design is going to be way too big to fit on your YouTube channel logo. So make sure that you actually resize it to, I would say this, uh, this kind of like size and make it uh, as much in the middle as possible, basically. That is at least what I did with my logo and it worked for me. So make it as much as you can in the middle, basically, like this uh, kind of this part right here. I would even say that make it a little bit smaller even and I'm going to push this text a little bit higher, just a second. Let's see if I can actually do this. Perfect. And perfect. So this right here. So as you can see, this right here, I'm pretty sure will actually fit as a YouTube logo, as you can see. And you can always, of course, make it bigger or smaller in YouTube as well. It will actually allow you to, of course, adjust the size of your logo. But make sure that your standard like design is going to fit like this little uh, circle right here, or this, like, as you can see, uh, this in the middle right here, because it's going to just fit on YouTube as well. And you will be able to see it if you actually right now save this one, you will be able to see it as well on your YouTube channel that you need to have this kind of smaller design to be able to fit it. And you can also, of course, uh, give it a name for yourself so you can find it later. So for example, we can have test gaming logo as an example. And if you want to, you can also click on elements in here, for example. So this elements right here is going to be actually, you can search for gaming in here as well or whatever you want. And it's going to give you a bit more graphics, for example. So we can have a bit more like graphics that we can add into our logo if you want to, of course. I would even, let's say actually uh, remove this one and just have this one as an example, that's also possible. So you can play around with this one as much as you want. Um, I would, uh, yeah, I think this one is decent. We can even take, see if we can have any other ones right here that might be decent as well. I'm going to search for gaming control. Oh, this one is good. I think this one is actually a lot better. Yeah, so you can see, I think this one uh, as a YouTube logo is uh, definitely uh, good enough for sure. So I'm going to just bring the text a little bit closer again. Um, yeah, I think this one is uh, for sure it's good enough to be a YouTube logo. So it's pretty easy actually to create it with uh, Canva itself. It's not uh, hard at all. You can even if you want to, you can obviously if you click on the background right here, and uh, sometimes you will be able to change the color of the background if you want to, obviously. You don't have to, of course, but you can change it. Or you can click on elements right here and you can have, for example, gaming background. And then you can click on photos right here. So click on see all. We're going to scroll down and you can uh, test out. And sometimes this happens, by the way, just click on layer and I think it's going to be uh, sent to back. Yeah, perfect. As you can see, then it's going to actually bring it back right here. Let's see, we can have this one maybe. Yeah, you can just play around with this obviously and see which one that you think uh, fits the, the best for your logo. There's a bunch of uh, like ones that is, that is free basically that we can use as well. It's, uh, yeah, it works, of course. So yeah, you can just play around with what kind of background that you also want for your logo. This looks pretty bad, to be honest. I'm just going to go back to this one right here. I think this one looks pretty decent. Yeah, but you can just play around with it. And that is basically exactly how to create a logo for your YouTube channel on Canva.